Uh, this is a Bases News, Bases Update and a Bases Blog all in one. Imagine, three things all at one at the same time. Uh, this time last week, this is for the 13th of October, and this time last week we were in central London at the Ibis Hotel for the TCC HE conference, and that is the, uh, the conference for consciousness and human evolution. Uh, very high level conference, very well done. There's about, oh, at least about 800 to almost 1,000 people there. Uh, we had the good and the great, such as uh, Greg Braden, Lynn McTaggart, Rupert Sheldrake, uh, Doctors JJ and Desiree Hurtak, who I sort of came across way back in the UFO Congress days in 1994, Dr. David Hamilton, uh, Curtis Shields, a scientist, uh, Five Secrets of Heaven. Wow. He even played his guitar. Uh, William Henry was there on a Sunday, very advanced, and then he did a uh, present. He did a uh, workshop with the Hertax on the Monday. Uh, Dr. Jude Curvin and another guy called Glenn Reed, PhD, and it was hosted by Marilyn Devonish, who did a very fine job, very professional, very high level, and uh, basically a Hayes public, a Hay House publishing uh, conference. Uh, there's lots of their books. Uh, one of the ones I got was, uh, if you can see that, ooh, ooh, maybe you can see that, Spontaneous Evolution. Uh, very good book, Brute, H. Limpton and Steve Byra Barraman. That's the sort of kind of stuff at that kind of conference and um, very advanced stuff. Well, we are at the T-E-C-H-H-E, -H -E, uh, the T-C-C-H-E.org conference. Well, I just arrived and Miriam uh, got the ticket last year as an early bird and we're here where we were last year with uh, Gemma. Uh, Gemma has uh, moved on to TNT Media. That's fantastic. Anyway, this is just a vlog saying here we are in central London and um, sort of in a magnificent hotel, the Hotel Ibis, very packed part of, um, very packed part of Earl's Court. And um, we're sort of going in now, so there it is. Well, here we are, this wonderful conference, and we've just been talking to somebody who knows all about the grades, all about how the children are taken from school and programmed into these various mind control things. Uh, identical to what Lisa Williams was talking about all those years ago. Uh, reptilians, grades, all part of the bases. Uh, everything and there's people around who know about that and to meet somebody who knew everything that we were researching I was researching way back in 1994 as a matter of course D didn't you know that blah blah expertly and intricately known by people really quite amazing this is miles a basis news at a certain conference in a hotel in central London. Well, here we are, we're going in for the final session on the third day, and there's four, there's a day tomorrow as well, which is all about um, a workshop with Hotak and uh, William Henry, I think, who just did his thing. And it's uh, a really packed day. We're talking about AI being made at the cyborgs, full transhumanization, really, really bad news. They are got themselves well plugged in on this, and that's a big deal. And um, this is what I'm to give. We get recognised here. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's that's it, and enjoy. Well, the Basis Project is doing its own conference. We are doing a Basis a 2023 Christmas conference. It's at the Bouverie Hall, and it's on December the 9th, and doors open at 9 o'clock. And we've got um, finally got a lineup of five very important speakers. Michael Shrimpton will be doing a uh, talk on the military uh, sort of technical aspects of you know, who's got what and uh, why this is there and all that sort of stuff. He writes for Veterans Today and he's relatively local in Wiltshire. Bob Osborne, now we've done a lot with Bob Osborne. We have two parts on hold because they're stuck on a computer that blew up a couple of weeks ago. Very uh, costly exercise. So he's done a thing on Zenner. Zenner is near St. Ives and he's tied an awful lot of the dots together, published an extremely good book in hardback. That is Zenner, Spirit of Place, 
and it will be available on paperback. There's been a lot of controversy. There's an awful lot of photographs and things in there and uh, people have had a little bit of a chat and all that sort of stuff. So Bob Osborne uh, uh, has told me that that will be hitting paperback. The crucial things about Zenner in the early part of the 20th century is a lot of the key players involved with what's happening now, uh, a whole pile of them, I won't mention the names, some of them trigger, is really important to understand why this is all happening in England before World War I and during World War I, right through into World War II. And we've got the Huxley brothers, we've got all sorts of people there, very, very detailed uh, uh, interconnecting concepts and all sorts of things, really important to get across that, joins a lot of dots together. Bob will be at the conference, he won't be presenting, he will be doing sort of more of a Q&A uh, I'm possibly going to host the, his questioning. Perhaps we could have people from the audience uh, questioning uh, detailed, informed questions. D.H. Lawrence, all sorts of stuff. Aldous Huxley, all lots of really big names there. And once he gets going and gets uh, picks up the pace, it's very important stuff. This. We're also going to have Sandy Adams, who has been in all around Ireland and not allowed to speak. I think she managed to get a talk in in Northern Ireland, but actively Ireland has fallen and I'm going to be speaking about that more. There are a few Irish good people and they are coming, a group are coming to Glastonbury on December the 16th, I think it is. That's the Saturday and Sunday before Christmas and they're going to be doing their own conference and I'll be joining them in Glastonbury in the tannery. That's a very important group from Ireland. They really are very switched on. They're at the sort of level that uh, Tim Refat would be talking about. And uh, that's really deeply connected with portals, the Fae, the She, lots of very detailed stuff involving a lot of the build-up uh, and also the background to a lot of the things happening in Ireland and why it's a captured state. And the kind of legislation coming in there is nightmarish. It's the World Economic Forum as such. Now, Lucy Wyatt will be the uh, keynote speaker of the weekend, of the, of the day, on Saturday, December the 9th, and she'll be speaking twice. Lucy Wyatt has published several books and a deep analysis of things. 10, almost 15 years ago, the kind of stuff she was talking about is happening now. That's an extremely important, and I'm very happy that Lucy uh, is coming along. Also, in conjunction with the passing a couple of years ago of the key, one of the key interviewees that started the Basis Project, Lisa Williams. Lisa Williams passed about two years ago and her detailed experience is with the Greys and things, the intricate details of her experience completely blows away the whole UFO phenomenon as so archaic and completely out of it. This is a situation where People are taken in, in their, out of their jobs in West and East London as a matter of course. The detail and how the Greys can operate at will through our bases, involved with our bases, involved with the military and the intelligence services on a multinational level in bases in, in the UK. Uh, it's, it, just, it just illustrates the scale of involvement with the various types of ETs. Of course, the Greys being the front runners to the reptilians and ultimately the Alpha Draconis. The Alpha Draconis have allegedly left. And as with the art of war, the enemy retreats because they've already left something behind to continue to, to continue their takeover of the planet. And that is what's going on. It's happening completely everywhere. Coming up with a lot of details on how the health service is used, how the schools are used, how the Greys pick and choose. Uh, the children are taken to various military bases uh, and then they don't they have a screen memory that they actually went on a normal outing. This is intricate layers of where James Casbolt, Sophia and Lisa Williams, Barry King uh, and Reverend Anthony J. Pike and a lot of other individuals are deeply involved with the involvement with the Nazis in World War II, the mind control which came in the psychology, the psychological uh, head messing stuff which came to the British bases and how the British government and how all the governments are being essentially uh, captured. And this involves the Greys, the takeover and complete wiping out of organic life here. And it's all part of the whole terrible mix that we're in at the moment. 
so that's going to be essentially the conference uh, on December the uh, 9th and also the, the following weekend we're going to have the Irish group and that's operating in the, ta the tannery in Glastonbury. Uh, in the meantime, uh, having had a, a go with um, at this very detailed conference, the TC, whatever the hell it is, um, Consciousness Conference last week, uh, we've had a blog, we did a little blog and Miriam is here doing her blogs and it's the uh, first time Miriam's been here in Wiltshire for the first time in, in about five, six years. And she's been doing some blogs and there's a, I'll show you some pictures of that. Uh, portal, uh, portal, portal, portal. Do you speak English? Everyone who texts my Dutch accent right away. Oh. oh, you are from the Dutch place? I'm speaking slowly because you are foreign. Therefore, I must say speaking slowly for you. So, you are not in Holland then? The Netherlands, please. My God. So is this Miriam Janssen in, in a different place other than Holland? It's still very windy, so it's not so practical to make the videos here. Well, so you are making videos? Well, welcome to the um, interrupted area of the B B four zero sixty nine. Are you making video? Yeah. Now? Oh God. Um. It comes to a sudden stop at the end of yeah. RAF it's, line, it's, it's, uh, I... and this is the valley that it's all. It's gone really, into. it's really the concrete. Um, or how do you say the tire? It's just went. There's about a mile of it right there. Yeah. Shall we do a recording yeah. somewhere yeah. else? Yeah, we can do it somewhere else. Okay. Anyway, this is uh, this barrier's been put up more of it since the last time we were here, and this is potentially so close to RAF Lynham, formerly uh, formerly RAF Lynham, where some people say there was a device. But I'll leave that not on this recording. A device that failed, that came from Antarctica. This is where we were. We at Royal Wooden, we are... I've just gone to the perimeter of former RAF Lynham, now MOD Lynham, at the actual site where the B-40... the, the B-4069 completely collapsed for quite a about a mile in different places but the location of the collapse is right on the perimeter of RAF Lynham. So Miles uh, took me, Miriam, to that place to tune in and to see what happened. Um, I went past two fences to get to the place where it really collapsed. Which has only been re double fences have only been added since I was there. Okay, well I managed to get there um, and see the collapse and tune in. And it was before I went there, I went a little bit up the hill where they're starting to build houses. It started and stopped building a house. Okay, anyway, um, Miles said that there's this um, 
military uh, base on top of the hill. So behind a fence over there, there's the military base. And I expected to feel the presence of the military. But the funny thing is that I looked at the motorcycle, motor, uh, bodywork um, shop. Um, and I felt a very, very strong feminine energy going all the way on the side of the hill. And it was a kind of smiling energy and saying to me, uh, Miriam, it's all fine. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're healing. Um, balancing. That's the better word. We're balancing it. Oh, oh this is nice. Okay. Um, it really felt very friendly and a kind of like uh, protective energy against the military traces that were still there. So I climbed down, went to the road, uh, went around two fences to get to the place where it collapsed. And I asked why did it collapse? And I said it didn't have anything to do with the military. They made a construction failure long before and it was um, a shift of the earth because they didn't take some water streams in account when they built it and the whatever went underground on a military basis just made it worse but it wasn't why it collapsed and they just didn't expect it to collapse that way. Um, so I said, okay, but then what is happening now in the uh, lower levels in the earth? Is there anything going on with the underground bases? They said, well, it's a bit like the the wasp nest. Uh, Miles has at home. They're uh, they're flying in all kinds of directions. There's chaos now because there's no authority anymore that directs them or uh, guides them. So there's they're all over the place. There's no focus right now. That's why the feminine healing energy or balancing energy was on the side of the hill as well. It's, it's a moment to re-establish a balance in the landscape between the people who use the landscape, the houses, even when it are companies or the military. But the military right now, they have lost their identity. On that base, they lost their identity. They lost their profile. They lost their goal. There's no common aim anymore. Miriam, this is it. Enough. Take a rest. You really tuned in deeply into the energies at that place. Now find a nice place to restore your energy. Thank you. Thank you very much.